Table number 13. Table number 13. You can help yourself to the buffet line. Table number 13.
We'd like to take this time to say thank you to a couple of people that made tonight possible. Uh, Rhonda Myers at the Desert Rose for letting us have our event out here. Michael and Denise Stone and Taylor Hevington and Dana Hevington for cooking our meal. Really good. XL Energy for their donation. Bubba Bella and Michelle, we'll see them here pretty quick. Jay Gypsy for the great decoration. Thirsty Mule and Terry Brewster, she's taking some pictures so y'all make sure to smile really pretty so we can have pretty pictures. Um, Gil Reynolds, who's up there. Louis Pacheco, he's going to be the master of ceremonies tonight. Uh, Jared Benson will explain that later, but we're really thankful for him. And Leanne Hilton. Uh, y'all see the tumblers and the coasters, those are yours to take home. We just wanted to say thank you for coming out tonight. Uh, I want to introduce our Chamber Board of Directors. Our President is John Piotta. Carrie Preston is our Vice President. Our Secretary is Wandy Blackwell. Jackson Myers. Cameron Cribs. Marcus Stevens and Miles James. As a Chamber of Commerce, we understand our mission is to promote and support our local businesses, to sustain a positive business and environment, and to preserve and improve the quality of life for our Milshu residents. We are working really hard all year long to do all of these things, and we hope that y'all will join us throughout the year to succeed in those efforts. Um, let's give our board of directors an applause one more time. Okay, I'm going to bring John Biaba, our president, up here. John is currently our Bailey County Extension agent. He's lived in Yonshu for the past two and a half years. He has been a county extension agent for 16 years. In every county that John has lived in in his adult career, in Jack County, Swisher County, and Quake County, he has served on their Chamber of Commerce. So he has some experience. Um, he's been on the Milshu Chamber Board for one year, and he was voted president in January of this year. He has big dreams for this small town, and we are so blessed that he calls Milshu home. Thank you, Brittany, for the introduction. I will say before I get started tonight, I want to welcome you guys, as we said earlier, to this banquet this year. It's a little bit different, a little bit of a change, but uh, we feel like we put together a product for you to enjoy the evening and have some fellowship and be able to recognize the people and businesses, this community who kind of make things go. So a real quick story. I do have a little bit of a few notes to share with you this evening. And then we'll get started and I'll quit jabbing my jaws. But um, as we were planning this event, and Brittany had said, you need to have something to say to the crowd. And uh, unfortunately, or fortunately, I always have something to say. Uh, anyway, she wanted me to write a speech. And I don't write speeches. I, I just, it freaks me out to write a speech. I cannot. I sit down, I shake. Well, uh, at 3.30 this afternoon, I thought she was pretty serious, so I went ahead and wrote something. And uh, I probably won't read it. I'm not going to read it. Uh, but anyway, I wrote it on, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hold it up. Some of you may be able to see it up here in the front, but I'll hold it up. I don't have scratch paper in my house. Don't know why, but it makes sense to me. So I was digging through the drawers, and I found this receipt right here. It's got a coffee stain or two on it. And on the back it says September 2018. And it has a detailed schedule of pig farms in Iowa that I'm gonna go visit. <laughs> no, no reason why I don't have no reason why I kept this, but I did. And so now the notes that she wanted me to write down are here. So uh, like I said I'll just kind of get through it. But thank you guys for coming. We have a very uh, nice evening planned for everybody. And you know, uh, we also have a surprise that we'll get into here in a minute. 
Uh, it's not a political figure or anything like that. It's not a celebrity. It's just something neat that we're going to try to get started this year uh, with the chamber. But um, you know, we noticed that the signage and the theme that we've had for this year is right for the brand. And as the board planned this event and put it together, uh, the we talked a little bit about mission statements. We talked a little bit about purpose. We talked a little bit about. Uh, where do we want to go as a board and where do we see that we can help the citizens of Mule Shoe and the businesses of Mule Shoe? And uh, we wanted to kind of circle it all back to what Mule Shoe meant to each of us. And even though the majority of our board members are not from Mule Shoe or, or haven't been there very long, haven't been here very long, we still feel like there's a, a some magnetism to being here and bringing your career here and want to live here. And so we got to thinking about uh, basically the heritage behind Mule Shoe. And if we tie it all together, uh, one thing that a lot of us, many of us can agree on here in this room is the foundations of Mule Shoe were from the Mule Shoe Ranch a long time ago. And so with that spirit and also understanding um, a little bit about the school system here, uh, think about the mules, you know, we, we thought about a brand. And we come up with a brand, and then you've seen it up everywhere. You've seen it on your coasters, you see it on your cups, you'll see it tonight and later. And so we come up with right for the brand. And I know that some of y'all may be familiar with right with what that means. It means something different to everybody, but um, I just want to read you a little bit something that I found, and because I know it means something for me that may not mean for the next person. Um, so I, uh, like I tell my kids all the time. Uh, in 4 H, so I say, if you can't find it, go to the Google machine. So I went to the Google machine, and uh, here's what it said. Uh, first of all, we're going to start basic. So what is a brand? And in the most basic terminology of what a brand is, is a trademark that defines ownership. Okay, so what does that mean for writing for the brand? And I'm going to read you this quick little, po little poem or excerpt that that I read that the great, great Steve O wrote. And it says, Son, a man's brand is his own special mark that says, This is mine. Leave it alone. You hire out to a man, ride for his brand, and protect it like it was your own. So really and truly, when we talk about riding for the brand, it means that you're dedicated, you're a shareholder, you're taking ownership of something, even if it's not completely yours, you can do whatever it takes to make sure that the goals and the futuristic optimism that the, the owner or whoever the organization leader is has for that certain situation. So pretty much it's, to me, it's, it's stakeholders, it's shareholders of a shared vision. And so that's what we want to portray from a chamber standpoint and hopefully we can, uh, in, you know, make that a little bit bigger of a deal to people who are newcomers or people who are wanting to bring business here or who, who want to be a part of Mule Shoe even more. So we want more and more people to ride for the brand. Now let's get back to the chamber a little bit and let me talk about uh, one of the things that Ricky brought up this, this week to me I didn't know. Um, there's been a lot of people who have been riding for the brand already. And we are seeing that daily. We're very appreciative of support. So we, when we quantify that, just from a membership standpoint, last year, about the same time, we had 55 members in the Chamber of Commerce here in Milchie. And I remember distinctly in one of those meetings at the very bottom of the note, uh, agenda or the minutes that they've given us, uh, I believe that our goal for this year was going to be 65. Uh, Brittany checked that number last week and we're at 84 members. So not only has the board and the membership met those expectations, but we've exceeded those expectations. We feel like with that sort of membership group, we have enough in our tanks to keep riding for the brand. So as we tie it all back together tonight, think about the award winners, think about the businesses, Think about all the people in Mule Shoe who make the things go that we all take for granted that we don't ever think about. Those people have been riding for the brand for many years. We're just here to recognize them tonight for that. 
And later tonight, uh, when we give an award, and we're, we'll, I'll wrap back around to what we're talking about. We have a special thing we're going to do, and hopefully with that happening, we'll be able to allow people in the future to ride for the brand wherever they may be. Thank you. Scott Miller, he's going to come up and make a presentation for the uh, Western Minds Club. Good evening. What a day. Start out this morning like a morning in February. Went along like a day in March. Ended up like a nice evening in May. So, my name is Scott Miller. I'm part of the Western Minds Club. Uh, sitting here earlier. Talking with our table, you know, sometimes bad things happen to good people, but and there's no answer for it. But a lot of times, good things happen to good people, and there's a reason for it because they're good. <clears throat> Part of Lions Club is a uh, we help young children, young students, and uh, not, that have eye problems, maybe they can't afford glasses. Uh, we offer them eye testing. We support them. We get them eyeglasses if their parents can't afford it. Um, there's a family here, family in business. If y'all ever heard it, pass it on, doing a solid. This is what this, uh, this recognition is for. Dr. Jerry Redwine and his wife Donna have supported our last club by giving free eye exams to these students for the last three years. And it's a very big honor for them to help us through this I guess you call it a calling that we can go out and help people, help these students. So tonight I'd like to recognize Jerry and Donna Redline for their service.
leaders, innovators, and have a heart for real shoes. The size of the great state of Texas. The nominees for Man of the Year are Richard Wills. If you are present, please stand. Chris Marcus. Kenneth Henry. Rodney Baker. Maybe see. Our man of the year has been instrumental at the Bayley County Food Pantry. When a sudden need to relocate the food pantry was empty, he took the reins. He has contributed so many hours to get the food pantry in working order as to meet the needs of the Mule Street. He has a heart for Mule Street. And he's brought in so many good people and good organizations to lend a hand and to lend a heart where it is needed. He never asks for recognition. He gives all the glory to God. And when he was asked about the success of the food pantry, he calls it a God thing. We are proud to announce the Muleshoe Chamber of Commerce and Agriculture, Man of the Year 2022, Chris Morris.
Muleshoe Chamber of Commerce and Agriculture is pleased to announce the Woman of the Year, Gina Martis.
recall being vice president of the Chamber of Commerce at one time. But he was, um, was, uh, was early one, so he was saying, oh, oh actually, I don't have a straight break, which of course he has many. So I said, well, just give me a call around 1.30, because I know you'll have it. But Patricia worked on the phone, and um, she informed me that she worked for the Chamber of Commerce many, many years ago, back when uh, Gordon Green was president. And so I was writing things. Wow, this is great. The Chamber of Commerce has been chartered here for many, many years, more than a century. And looking at pictures, you can tell that as well. The good that they have done for this community. And it's very important now. I realize my G's look like C's and my, my D's look like K's. And I'm like, oh, of course. Okay, it's working. I don't call him that, but that's what it is. He was the president at the time. Me. What the Chamber of Commerce does, and has done forever, is they brought folks that are pillars in our community, or folks that want to serve, and then they can go and create um, a domino effect of what it is we do. So, on with the show, Business of the Year. We are blessed to live in a community that has so much to offer. This year's nominees start every day, ready to serve. Make sure we are fed, make certain we are looking good, they keep us feeling healthy, and they teach our kids. They are people over profit, and they have a genuine desire to make the community better. Nominees for Business of the Year. Lifestyle Nutrition. Jay Gypsy. The Ballet Shoe. All Star Detail. L and L Palette. And Dale Porter. Business of the Year has been instrumental in the development of our youngest community members. When a pandemic took over our lives, these folks stepped in, ready to shift things at Muleshoe. They approached a community member and asked if Muleshoe would have enough interest in ballet to start a few classes. They put the word out, and classes soon filled up. They loved our children like their own and provide a positive influence. But they begin each class with a prayer, and above all else, teach students great step and self-confidence. And that is so important today. They have a great way of finding the needs of the community and filling those needs. Their latest project, Wise Up Kids Gym Shoe, will focus on teaching leadership throughout some if you haven't been to one of their ballet recitals, come out and watch the wonderful work they do with our kids. <laughs> Mule Street Chamber of Commerce and Agriculture is proud to name this year's Business of the Year, the Ballet Show, owned and operated by Leslie and Dan Moore.
Dealing with the public in general can be a task in and of itself. These nominees have mastered that. They are a friendly face. They love this community. They will do whatever it takes to get the job done. They are the salt of the earth. Nominees for Employee of the Year. R. L. Richards. Kim. Kim Griffin. Sandy Bazier.
Wilshire Chamber of Commerce and Agriculture is pleased to name Robert and Ellen Gall this year's Ag Fest. Thank you. 
Come on. 27, now 8, 28.